the libs are going way, way too far. The California State Assembly has just passed a bill that seeks to establish California as a sanctuary for children seeking transgender medical treatment, as well as their pervert parents who want to put the kids through these kinds of genital mutilations and experimental hormone uh, therapies. The legislation is called SB 107. Uh, The bill's author is Senator Scott Wiener. Because all nature is but art unknown to thee, because that's just a that's just providence kind of winking. I think just the kind of f- f- humorous order, even to this very fallen world, uh, winking through Scott Weiner. If you've heard that name before, we've mentioned him on the show. Scott Weiner is that sexual degenerate who made it his mission, his crusade in the California legislature to soften the punishments for pederasts for grown men who have sex with little boys. He said it was very unfair. There were, there were unfair and unequal treatments for pederasts. And so Scott Wiener decided to take up their cause. And now in the least surprising turn of events in the news that you've ever seen, the man, the degenerate who wanted to soften the punishments for pederasty now wants a bunch of sexually confused kids to come to his state. Isn't that shocking? Never, never saw that one coming. Did you? Sick stuff, only you know, furthering the nickname for Los Angeles and San Francisco is Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah by the sea. Uh, really awful, awful stuff. Everyone involved in this, this, this senator Scott Weiner, the the parents, the the doctors, these shaman witch doctor quacks who are lopping off the genitals of kids or, or pumping them full of hormones and and puberty blockers to to get them ready to start lopping off their genitals. All these people should be in prison. All of these people should be ostracized from society. There's no question about that. And I don't I don't want to hear any states' rights argument for it either. Okay, there's the kind of squish position, which is, well, listen, if California wants to lop off the genitals of kids, that's their business. That's their right. That's, no, they don't have a right to do that. <laughs> they don't. Scott Wiener doesn't have a right to do this. These quack doctors don't have a right to do this. The parents don't have a right to do this either. And we are not only justified, we actually have an obligation to say that. No. So you don't get to, you don't get to put little kids through all sorts of mutilations to make the little boy look more like a little girl. No one has the right to do that. There's no right from democracy. There's no right from the sexual revolution or anything else. When they're not chopping up the little kids, they are, they are killing the little kids and a lot of other people too. This, uh, not just in California, but up in America's top hat, Canada. In Canada now, they are very heavily pushing assisted suicide. They, they use a, another euphemism. It's not just euthanasia, which was the, the euphemism for many years for assisted suicide. It means a good death, even though it's not a good death at all, because suicide is the, basically the worst kind of death you can imagine. But now they call it MAID, M-A-I-D, Medical Assistance in Dying. And Canada, in, over the last six or so years, has been really aggressive in pushing assisted suicide to the point that we're not just talking about a few marginal cases. Because I know even there are a number of conservatives sometimes who will say, well, look, if an old person has all sorts of terrible diseases and is going through an intense amount of pain, maybe in that rare case, it should be okay for that person to be able to kill himself. I don't think that's true, but I can see why some people might start to believe that. But the thing about assisted suicide is, it, it cannot remain just a kind of fringe, one in a million kind of case. The moment that you legalize assisted suicide, assisted suicide is going to explode and it's going to become a huge percentage of, the, of deaths every single year. This is, this is what you're seeing in Canada. Only recently did Canada really start to legalize assisted suicide and start to peddle this stuff. Now, as of last year, over 3% of deaths in Canada are, are through suicide. Or, I'm sorry, are through assisted suicide. There are other suicides as well. Over 3%. That's a huge number. And it's only going to grow. And now the Canadians are going to push it on little kids. I'm not joking. There's a piece here. This is in the Ottawa Citizen on expanding medical assistance in dying to mature minors. So what they're saying is, no, we're not just going to kill any little kids. We're going to kill minors who are, can make their own decisions. 
Now, the thing about minors is they can't make their own decisions. That's why we have age of consent laws. That's why it is illegal for you right now listening to this show to sleep with a 16-year-old. You can't, if, if you're over whatever, 19 or 20 or well, I don't know, whatever, whatever the laws are in your state. If you're over, if you're, if you're not a kid anymore, it is illegal for you to sleep with someone who is a minor. Why is that? Because we have age of consent laws, because we say that young people just are not fully in command of their faculties to make these kinds of important decisions. Now, the libs are trying to turn that on their head. They're saying, yes, it's true. A 16-year-old can't make a decision about whether or not to have a one-night stand, but a six-year-old can make the decision about whether to permanently destroy his or her genitals and sterilize themselves and give themselves all kinds of problems and osteoporosis and all kinds of persistent conditions for the rest of their lives because they do have autonomy. They do have agency. Obviously, they don't. Now, Canada is going to take it even further. They're going to say, hold my beer. Hold, hold, hold my, my Labatt's. Hold my Golden Molson. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just doing my Jordan Peterson impression. Not only, not only are we going to let the children have a one-night stand. Is it becoming Irish? I don't know. Not only are we going to let the kids chop off their genitals, but we're going to let the kids kill themselves as well. Sorry. That's what they're saying now. That's insane. To clarify, Jordan Peterson is not saying that, but all the lunatics up in Canada are saying that. They are saying that. And this is the logical conclusion, of course. It was always the logical conclusion of all of this. Which kids do you think are going are to be killed through assisted suicide? Do you think it's going to be just the happy, normal, well educated No, it's going to be the disabled kids. What this is going to amount to is uh, uh, just another aspect of the system of eugenics that the libs have been pushing through abortion primarily, but now if they don't get them at the very beginning of their lives, they're going to get them shortly thereafter. And they're going to say, oh, you're, a li- you're disabled, you're sad, you're depressed. Okay, 12-year-old, well, you can make the mature and informed decision to kill yourself, and we're going to support you in that. Ghastly, ghastly stuff. There was a, a news story that came out yesterday that the largest child sacrifice in human history has just been excavated in Peru. It was uh, not the Incas, but it was the civilization before the, I forget what they're called, the Chimeas or something. It was the civilization that the Incas conquered, and they they found 450 child sacrifices around the age of 10 or 12 in this altar pit. I thought, wow, that's pretty bad, but those guys don't have anything on modern Westerners. Not even close. We sacrifice 850,000 babies a year through abortion. Not even, even the Aztecs on their worst day didn't, didn't get that far. And now look at what we're doing in Canada. Even if you want to say, implausibly, I think, that babies aren't really babies, that a baby, if a baby's in the womb, the baby's not really a human being or not really alive, that's a silly argument. But okay, now we're talking about kids who are like eight. We're talking about kids who are 12. And Canada is saying, and they're in a really, really serious, sophisticated way, that Justin Trudeau, you know, smiley, really nice, happy way. Yes, we're going to let the disabled kids die. We're going to kill them. We're going to have doctors kill the disabled kids if they get a little sad sometimes. And that'll be better for everybody, don't you think? No, of course not. Of course not. We all know that this is evil. Okay? The left is for it because the left supports evil things. That's just what the left is. That Even the very term left in politics comes out of the French Revolution, and it was the people who sat on the left of the National Assembly who were attacking the church. It's just an attack on God. When it really gets down to it, that's what leftism is. So the, we all know it's evil. The, the left is for it because the left supports evil things, and the right is just kind of impotent because the, the right can't really articulate the definition between good and evil. Some conservatives can, but the ones who have fallen into the squishiness of the you do you and well, who's to say what's good or bad, man, or don't force me to do anything, or I'm not going to impose my views on anybody, man, whatever, you know, they adopt all of these kind of silly libertarian-ish platitudes. They can articulate what to do about this. The only language that the right has been able to use in recent decades is the language of autonomy, the language of choice, So they're going to say, well, if if they oppose this at all, they're going to say, well, it's wrong because the kids can't choose. The kids can't freely consent. It's fine for adults to kill themselves, but it's it's wrong for kids because the kids can't freely consent. That's not primarily what's wrong with it. The thing that's primarily wrong with it is that it is always wrong to kill yourself. 
It's a grave, grave sin because you do not own your body. You didn't bring yourself into this world. You have no right to bring yourself out of this world. Your life is a gift to you from God. You are a steward of yourself and your body, and you have responsibilities. You don't just get to do whatever the hell you want to do all the time. You have duties and responsibilities to the moral order, which is real and which we in our country are, are denying every bit as much. We, we, want to talk, we, we talk about evil empires, you know, the Soviet Union. It, was, it genuinely was an evil empire. And we talk about evil empires like the Aztecs and all those people practicing human sacrifice down there in Latin America. Well, I think the moderns ought to take a little look in the mirror, okay? Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. Because the stuff that we're delving into right now, really, really wicked stuff, would make the Aztecs blush. I'm glad you like that clip. Now, hold on. You got to ring that bell. Ring that bell, subscribe, get the notifications. We'll see you next time.